I was born in 1947, and most doctors didn't know what autism was. And so in 1949, around in there, two and a half years of age, I was not talking, not acting like a little girl next door. So mother took me to a neurologist and they checked me to make sure I wasn't deaf. And they checked me for epilepsy and I was negative on both of those. And she said I had some kind of minimal brain damage. A few years later, the autism came up and I can remember the frustration of not being able to talk. I'd gotten fully verbal, but I was slow to respond. One really important thing with young autistic children, you want them to use the language but wait for them to respond. Oh, that's out at my aunt's ranch. And that was one of the best experiences I had. High school was a disaster for me, absolute disaster. Bullied and teased. In ninth grade, I was um, kicked out of the school for uh, throwing a book at a girl who um, was calling me all kinds of names. And I ended up going to special boarding school for kids with problems. And for the first three years there, I ran their horse barn. Riding horses, showing horses, we'd go on trail rides. It was everything, horses. And one of the few places I was not bullied and teased when I was at school, in high school, was shared activities, like riding horses. Friends who shared interests. I cannot emphasize enough the importance of friends who shared interests for, you know, kids with autism. Okay, that, that's the uh, cattle squeeze shoot I tried out at the range. When I got into puberty, I started having horrible anxiety attacks. I was working some cattle through a device called a squeeze shoot to hold the cattle while they got their vaccinations. And they go in, there's a thing on their head, and then it squeezes their body to hold them. And I noticed that some of these cattle kind of relaxed, so then I went and tried it. At the time, nobody knew anything about sensory things. Now it's known that for certain individuals, a lot of pressure over wide areas of the body is calm. And so I built basically sort of a squeeze shoot device for myself and I could control the pressure and it calmed me down. Kids going into different careers try different stuff. Too many kids get forced to be a doctor because their parents are doctor and they hated it. Try other things. Oh, there I am with Claire Danes. She just became me. It was amazing. My name is Temple Grandin. I'm not like other people. When the movie first came out, I remember going out to HBO's office to watch the, the first uh, version of the movie. And it was like going in the 60s and 70s time machine. Well, I think it's important to see what, you know, people with autism are capable of. Autism is a very broad spectrum. People ask me, um, how do I like all the attention I got after the movie? I said, it's a responsibility. It's a responsibility. I treat it like a job. I've got to always be on good behavior because I want to help other kids to be successful. I'm 73 years old. What I should be doing now is I'm doing things to help motivate kids. Temple, that's not how you fly a kite. Try the way we're doing it. But I like doing things my way. You know, I want to help young kids get interested in, and get into, into decent careers. Having a, an interesting career makes life worthwhile. It, doing something that makes a positive difference. Having a career where I think I've made improvements. Uh, I've improved some things in the livestock industry. I've improved animal welfare. That's doing something real.